What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to teach you how to screen print the easy way. Today I will be using the Cricut Explore 3. I will also put a link in the description below of all the materials that I will be using. All right, the first thing you wanna do is upload your design onto Cricut Design Space. All right, after you get your logo uploaded, the next thing you wanna do is select the type of vinyl you are using. I usually go with permanent Smart Cricut vinyl. It's the easiest to use and you don't need a mat for it. Once you select your materials, make sure you put mirroring on. This is the most important step of the entire process. If you do not do this, your whole design will be backwards. So go ahead and select mirror and cut out your vinyl. After you get your vinyl cut out, the next thing you're gonna do is weed out the parts you don't need. Now remember, this is a stencil, not a decal. So you're going to want to remove the vinyl where the ink is going to go through. Once you get your stencil weeded out, the next thing you're gonna do is apply the transfer tape. It's not a bad idea to invest in these Cricut tools. They are very helpful. I like to cut off the edges just because it makes it cleaner. You don't have to do this, but I usually do. After you apply your transfer tape, the next thing you're gonna do is peel the vinyl off. I usually flip the design upside down, making sure no vinyl is sticking to the back of the white paper. You can see me doing this very carefully. Take your time with this process. It is very important that all the vinyl sticks to the transfer tape. Once you get your vinyl on the transfer tape, the next thing you wanna do is apply your stencil to the back of your screen. Once you apply the stencil to the back of the screen, go ahead and peel off that transfer tape. Make sure you take off the transfer tape or the ink is not going to go through to your t-shirt. And there you have it. This is the hardest step of the process. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is get some painter's tape and go around your stencil. This will help with keeping the ink contained. You don't want your ink going off the screen and onto your shirt. Now your screen should be good to go. This is what it should look like on the back side, and that's why I wanted you to mirror your logo. Because when you push the ink through the screen, it's going to apply it the correct way onto your t-shirt. All right, your screen is good to go. Let's get ready for screen printing. I usually go with Speedball ink. It tends to be the best. I use this screen printing board to put in between my t-shirts. You don't need this. You could use a piece of cardboard or maybe a pizza box. The next thing you'll need is a squeegee and your t-shirts. Here's a little trick I use when I'm using the board that goes in between your t-shirts. I spray it with a little bit of spray tack because it's gonna keep the fabric stuck onto the board. So when you lift up on that screen, your fabric isn't gonna come off the board. It just makes it easier and it's going to help apply a nice thin coat of ink. Like I said, you don't have to use this board. I tend to use it. You can use a piece of cardboard or a piece of wood, something smooth, but make sure you put something in between your t-shirt because if you don't, the ink will bleed through the back. Once you got your t-shirt on the board, you are ready to screen print. You can see the spray tag is going to hold that fabric nicely in place. And it's a lot easier to get the wrinkles out. You don't wanna have any wrinkles when you're about to screen print. It's gonna mess up your logo. Line up your screen to the best of your ability. It doesn't need to be perfect. I use a ruler to measure three inches below the collar seam. Most t-shirt logo designs start there, so that's what I typically go with. Once you got your logo all centered and aligned, go ahead and throw some ink up top. When you're using this screen printing method, make sure you're pulling the ink towards you. Don't push it back up, just go one direction. Pull it towards you. You can do this multiple times and make sure your whole logo is covered. You'll see the ink go through. Once you got your whole logo covered, Go ahead and lift up your screen. There you have it, a beautiful screen printed t-shirt. Once you have successfully screen printed your first t-shirt, I like to use a heat gun to make sure the ink settles nicely before peeling it off my board. This will set the ink in place 
And if you make a mistake when pulling it off the board, it won't run onto other areas of the t-shirt. Now, if you don't have a heat gun, you could also use a blow dryer if you have one in the house. And there you go, your first t-shirt is done. I recommend that you have at least five t-shirts lined up only because it took so long for you to make this screen. You might as well print the logo on other shirts. Once you got all your t-shirts printed, let them air dry for at least 24 hours. You could probably get away with 12 hours, but I tend to let them sit for 24. After they are dry, you're going to want to heat press them. Now you can use an iron if you don't have a heat press like I do. Set your heat press at 325 degrees and you're going to want to do it for 30 seconds. This is the most satisfying part of the project because after this, you are done. You gotta love it when you see that steam rise. Now this is not the only way to screen print. I actually do have a screen printer in my garage, but I wanted to show you the most easy, basic way to do screen printing. If you enjoy this process and you think you like screen printing after this, I definitely recommend buying a screen printing press. Now you can buy this on Amazon and I will throw the link in the description below. It makes your life a lot easier because you're able to pull down that screen and lift it back up and it's gonna keep it in the exact same spot. So if you need to apply more ink, you can easily do so. I also made a previous video on how to use a screen printing press, so go ahead and check that out in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. New videos every week. Hopefully this helped. I appreciate all the love and support. Until next time, peace out.